Yeah, hello there, uh, Zakintos here. So I saw the game between uh, Australia and China, uh, played at a neutral venue, supposed to be China's home game at the Sharjah Stadium, United Arab Emirates. Uh, in the previous game last week, we drew with Saudi Arabia 0-0 because our illustrious coach, Graham Arnold, decided that Matthew Leckie is a striker. Matthew Leckie is not a striker, he's a winger. So for this game against China, he played him as a winger. He put Mitchell Duke as a striker. Uh, Boyle was on the right. Jimmy Jago was a midfielder with Jackson Irvine in the middle. And at the back we had uh, Degenek who replaced Harry Suter and we had Sainsbury. And the wing backs were Azzy Baic at left back, Aziz Baic and uh, Ryan Grant at right back. And the goalkeeper, Matt Ryan. Uh, we went up 1-0. Credit to Mitchell Duke for scoring the goal. But then, it's only one goal. Jimmy Jago put his hands like this, like an airplane, two wings like this. And of course, the VAR picked it up. The VAR told the referee, go and take a look at the video. So the three referees upstairs in the Sharjah State in the United Arab Emirates told this referee, take a look at the video. We've seen something, you should see it. This guy has touched his head. It's the ball has touched his hand. And others were saying on Channel 10, oh no, it wasn't deliberate. When you're like this, it's deliberate. Jimmy Jago, you're not good enough. Jackson Irvine, you're not good enough. Sainsbury, you're not good enough. Matthew Lecky should not have been playing. He's totally unfit. Uh, let's go through the players, give them an assessment. Starting from the front. Mitchell Duke, not bad. He plays in the second division in Japan and it shows because if he played in the top division in Japan, he would be a better player. He doesn't have good first touch on the ball. So, just pass. We'll give him a thumbs up. Martin Boyle, always a thumbs up. He's good. Uh, Aiden Hrustic, now number 10, thumbs up. Matthew Lecky, no. He's not fit and he plays in the A-League. And what I don't like is how Graham Arnold says, I'm looking forward to picking A-League players when the season starts in November 19, which is a couple of days away. No. And Harold said it as well. Don't pick players from the A-League. You have to pick from abroad, from Japan, Korea, whatever. Minimum, they have to be playing in Asia, if not Europe. And Europe is a high standard. Or if some of them play in South America, which they don't. The national team is a reflection of the league and the league is not good. The league does not develop good players. Sorry. Anyway, let's continue with the assessment. Jackson Irvine, fail. Jimmy Jego, you cost us the game, fail. Sainsbury, you have no idea, you can't pass the ball, fail. And you got Harry Suter injured in the Saudi Arabia game because Harry Suter, like Harold said, had to stretch his knees and whatnot to cover for your bullshit. Plus, you're the son-in-law of the coach. If that's not a conflict of interest, I don't know what is, man. And then we have the wingbacks. What's happened? Graham Arnold, who is a one-dimensional coach, keeps picking the same 14 players. He has all these. He has a squad of 23, and he just brings them on maybe for 10 or 15 minutes. Harold, by the way, there were two that I recognised from Sokoway, Dugu and the other one. But you won't get to see them. They're not going to play from the start. Oh, no, no. Because Arnold will say they don't have experience. Well, when you play in Europe, you have more than experience, man. So, the wingbacks as well. 
Beige, fail. Ryan Grant, fail. I'll tell you why. As is Baich, overlaps on the left. That's good. He plays on the left. Right. We assume that if he plays on the left, he has a left foot. He will not, he will not go to the corner cross with the left foot. He, once he runs down the left, then he comes back. And they do these pissy crosses. Not worth it. Fail. Ryan Grant, fail. Why? I'll tell you why. Because it's one thing to play a Sydney FC or whatever. It's another, even if he plays abroad, don't care. Runs down the right, his corners are shocking. They are instructed to take corners. They are instructed to cross the balls from half forward flank, which is a position just outside the, the corner of the penalty area. And uh, that's where, for me, just shocking. As is by H, you have a left foot. The, the wing backs overlap. They don't cross from the byline. As soon as Fran Karatic was brought on to replace Ryan Grant, guess what? He crosses from the byline, from the corner. And what that does is when you cross it so deep, when you cross it right near the corner flag, that takes the goalkeeper out of the equation. There's no chance of offside, but we cross it from deep, and all it does, it favours the Chinese defenders, and they're not even tall, man! And guess what? Japan won the game, their game, which was two hours later, so now we're third. Tara Rushton was the only one, she wasn't happy, she said, when we played Ch China four months ago, whenever it was, round one, we beat them 3-0. She goes, what's changed? Who knows what's changed, man? We have a shit coach. And it's, it just, it, it's just, it, it's mind blowing how, and Harold said it, how can you employ the same coach a second time around? The FFA has no vision. They have no vision whatsoever. Because they tried a French coach and a German coach six or seven years, and that because in their re FFA's reasoning, the old FFA or soccer, so that didn't work, we go back to an Australian coach. Sack this coach now because there's we're not going to make it. At least if you put in a new coach now or a caretaker coach, put in Tony Vidmar or someone. Hell, put in Aurelia Vidma, put in John Kazmina, someone, Frank Farina, whoever, because it's just one dimensional. And what I noticed is that when Australia, uh, and when Australia play, they try to do short passes. So the two central defend the two central defenders have the ball. But what they do, they then pass it to the wing backs who are pushed further up. And the wing backs run around along the, the touchline. The ball is rarely moved through the, cor the middle corridor. And when the winger gives it to the overlapping wing back, the wing back then gives it back to a midfielder, then the other central midfielder, and they go again. So the two central defenders reload from the back, they give it to the wing backs, and they it's just around there. It's a merry go round around the penalty area. And the, the crosses, instead of our illustrious coach who, what, does he have a UEFA Pro license? What's that? Oh, I don't know. I wonder if he has one. Because in the UEFA Pro license, do they not teach anything? I just, just, they fail. And I'm sorry, I know Ryan Grant and Aziz Baich, Aziz Baich's form has dropped, sorry. And Ryan Grant... I think he still plays at Sydney FC, but it's just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what to make of it. They say that we play Vietnam in January 22. Saudi Arabia, who were top of the ladder, only beat Vietnam 1-0. We play Oman in January, February. Mate, they only lost 1-0 to Japan. These teams that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
in our group only lose by one or two goals. There's no four or five nil drubbings. And if it's taken Graham Arnold this long to work out, what, what strikers do we have? See, and uh, this is the other thing. Just by fluke, I saw this girl on FNR. Harold knows who she is, Laura. I uh, can't remember. She said there's a Croatian player, a Croatian background, he's Australian. He's scoring goals in Croatia, striker. We won't pick him because I don't know why. Arnold will say, oh, he doesn't have international experience. Guess what? We ain't going to make the World Cup. So fucking hell, man, start blooding these players. Pick them because it's a 90-minute match. It's not 6,000 minutes. Pick him. You know, you wake up Wednesday morning to watch the game. Well, I burned it and then watched it after without knowing the score. And, and this, this system, it, it just... And, you know, others have said as well, there's no... The government doesn't put money into our game. So it starts from the top. The government, which is the Liberal government, don't put money in. The Labour government used to. The Liberal government don't. And it shows now. This is the fruits of the late, this is the fruits of the Liberal government. Thanks, Turnbull. Thanks, Abbott. And thanks, Scotty Morrison. You Levedi. You Levedi that didn't you don't even care about soccer. And then you got five double A. Today, they're talking about cricket. Cricket this, cricket that. Hick wasn't picked. The T20 this and the T20 that. What? So that's, that's all we hear on 5AA, cricket and football. But there's no mention of soccer. Nothing. For them to mention soccer, you have to throw, boom, outside of the building. So that's, that's the problem. If the coach cannot determine who the number nine is or the striker, what's the point? The, the game against Saudi Arabia, the early one, a hundred, well, because we, it just, there's no, if you don't play at a high level in Europe, you can't play in international games. And even if we make the World Cup, now what's happened, it's going to be a, a playoff thing. And it's, Mark Milligan said, it's two sets of playoffs. It's four legs, not two legs. You have to win the out of two legs to get to the next two legs. And Mark Milligan said, you don't want to go there. So it must be, we if we finish third, which even that is not guaranteed, the top two in the group go straight to the World Cup. The third plays another, okay, now I know, yeah. We, the third, we played a third in the other Asian group, probably, if there is another Asian group, probably an Asian team. Two legs against that Asian team, then we probably have to play Uruguay or Paraguay when one of the legs in South America. Arnold, what are you going to do there? The same system, and you're going to have your son-in-law Sainsbury playing at the back, and then on Channel 10 they go, oh no, he was pretty good. But Tara Rushton said it today, Sainsbury wasn't that good. Tara Rushton is the only one that's not scared and is honest. The other boys, Wilkshire, Milligan, and Tarek Elrich, yeah, yeah, he's good. Sainsbury's good. Mitchell Duke is good. They have a heart. What do you mean they has a heart? I have a heart. It's pounding. I have a what, what does heart mean? We all have a heart. We all want to perform for our country, man. But if you've got no fucking idea what the fuck you do, and you get paid professionally to play soccer, then you have no idea. But you're not to blame, the coach is to blame. The FFA have to come in and say now, calling Graham Arnold at a minimum, call him into the desk and say, what's going on then? Are we gonna make the World Cup or not? And what does he say after the press conference? Graham Arnold at the end goes, we, we were the only team in the competition, in the game, that, that wasn't a penalty. Graham Arnold, it was a penalty. I don't care what anybody says. And even Mark Milligan, he Mark Milligan says he does not know the rule for handball in the penalty area because it's changed so many times. When you're like this, like an airplane, like a Boeing 747 or a Hercules, ooh, 
what do you think? If you look like an airplane, in the, it's a penalty. If you got to put your hands like this, at least. It's not one arm, he had two. So Jego, but even the other thing I noticed, there were two incidents with Jego. He gave away two free kicks in the middle of the park. He's trying to out-strength, out-muscle the other person. No. And that's, there you have it. Uh, the thumbs up again. The Matt Ryan, good. Degenek, good. Uh, for me, Suda and Boyle are good. The rest, forget it. And I, I for me, how could you play? Why would you drop Mabu? If you think he wasn't playing good in the Saudi Arabia game, that's because you gave him the wrong instructions, motherfucker. You gave him wrong instructions. So you'd pref I'd rather have Mabu who plays regularly in Denmark and plays Europa games in Europe, but are getting this guy from the A-League that hasn't even played yet. The A-League, so you've picked an A-League player. Oh no, but he's played in Germany for seven years. Yeah, that was then. We're talking about now, fitness, fitness level now. But to be fair to the cha Andy, the Channel 10 commentators after the game, all the subs that were brought on were fresh subs. He, he brought them in too late. You can bring in five subs now. Five because of the COVID thing. And even Tara Rushton said, no impact. I didn't even realise it. Because I'm just watching the game. Sub, no sub. It made no difference. So we have no depth. A 23-man squad. We have no depth in the squad. You're probably thinking, why is Zaki for sangry? Because, we, man, we need to make the World Cup. This is what I want to discuss now. We need to make the World Cup. Because if we don't make it, one, there's a lot of money, two, three million dollars or more. The publicity, soccer, football, rugby, they're all pushed to the side. If we make the World Cup, the radio stations and television stations in Australia have to start talking about it. But if we don't make it, and it looks like we won't, oh, no well. All the media in Australia and the public figures, the sporting figures will say, yeah, well, it doesn't surprise us. We don't care about soccer and they're useless. Australia. So FFA, you shot yourselves in the foot. And I'll tell you when it fucking happened, man. In November 2018, I heard it on Football Nation Radio. When Nick Christ, I think he was Nick... Uh, Crystal, I'm not sure what his name is. He's the head of the chairman of the FFA and Heather Reid is the deputy chair. That was a mistake. But to put in Jamie something, Jamie Johnson, whatever, as a CEO, just does not cut it. It's failed. Whoever appointed Graham Arnold the second time, which is about a year and a half ago, is failed. And Harold mentioned it. Not only is he in charge of the first team, He's in charge of the other 23s as well. Why? Because Graham Arnold will say, well, I want them to all play the same system. What system? Can't score a goal, man. And, oh, no, well, it's very hard, Zaki Thos. It's not easy. These games are not easy. Hey, man, you're paid to do a job. You could be, I'm not sure what you're getting, a million and a half dollars a year? That's a lot of money. But if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know your 4-2-3-1 from your 4-3-3 from your 4-4-2, or 3-5-2, or 3-4-3, three, three, or 4-3-3, four, 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 three, three. pick a system and stick with it. I noticed that in the, in the Saudi Arabia game, or the previous before, you're, you're changing the system. Just stick to one system, man. Because we're not going to get through. And once upon a time, SBS used to show soccer before the Liberal Party came in Abbott and Turnbull. Wednesday morning, Thursday morning live. But from 2013 onwards, guess what? Nothing. And you had some dickhead on Facebook saying last year, oh no, don't blame the government. Optus bid for it and not SBS. How can SBS bid for it if they're not given money, man? You malakis on Facebook. I just, you know. Oh, it, it just blows my mind, man. What else can I say? Uh, I also, I look at... I was fortunate enough to see some of the, the Olympics, the Oli Roos playing the Olympics, the other 23s. Mate, you see Spain playing. I saw Spain against Argentina and I saw Spain against Australia. <laughs> All right, there it's only one by one. Spain only one by one or two nil, but 
Forget it. There's none of this. They do short passing. And there's none of this where the two centre backs flick the ball and then flick it wide. Uh uh uh. They mix it wide and through the middle. And when a, when a Spanish midfielder has it in the middle and he's got time and space, you're gone. You are gone. What he does is he threads a through ball. He threads a through ball to a striker or two wingers. And the striker has a defender on Eh, game set and match, mate. With Spain, you're just chasing shadows. But that's for another video and another podcast. We could do the, co the Zakynthos Coaching 101. But Graham Arnold has to refine his system. The simple, soccer is simple. And I learned this from Football Manager. It is the players you pick and the system you choose. End of story. And the players you pick, buddy boy, are not that good. If you keep picking the 14 players, and Spiro said it as well, mate, he was expecting 3-0. Mate, we all were. I had a funny feeling that we're going to struggle away. I go, and I thought China can't be that good because the Chinese league is not that good. I just think for me, Graham Arnold is gone, just gone. Get rid of him. Because if we don't make it, then you sack him. FFA, you look stupid. Please sack Graham Arnold now. Enough is enough. Because we need results. Jamie Johnson, can you hear me, Chief Executive Officer of the Football Federation of Australia, where you started the A-League two days before New Year's. If that's not a bad omen, I don't know what is. That's another story. And I don't know, man. I just, just blows my mind. Graham Arnold, the system that you should be using is uh, 4 2 3 one. Or pick a system... And don't do, don't, the, only the wing backs should do long balls, no one else. If the, because the two central defenders should be able to pass it here, there, they've got room to, but the wing backs are in a more tricky position. But when you cross balls, why do you have overlapping wing backs if they then just cut it back in? If a right wing back overlaps, then cross with the right foot near the corner flag. If he's just cross it. Don't come back and then loop it in. Anyway, bye everyone. And hopefully goodbye, Graham Arnold.